Hello friends, welcome to a school server tutorial. In this sub series, we are going to learn about table joints. In this specific uh, first video, we will learn about uh, or we will we will get introduced to table joint. We learned how primary key and foreign key establishes relation between two tables. So we already learned about creating the primary key and foreign key in the constraints subseries. So this relationship establishment is to avoid redundant data which is repeating in every row. So for example, let's say you have a employee table employee table contains uh, employee name and other detail and let's state this is a department specific data say if a person works for sales department sales department id sales department name salary or bonus percentage number of employees or number of head or the head name of the department and if you see if there are a thousand employees and if 300 employees work for the same department id is okay department id but this data is repeating right so that's why what people do people will store only the relevant foreign key here department id and they will move this redundant data to a separate table so that only one row exists and all these uh, uh, rows will refer that one row based on this id so this is to avoid redundant data which is repeating in every row in our example employee table contains only the department id column as already explained here and other data present in a separate department table so this avoids redundancy but data is split into two table and they can be joined using this key column so this way we avoid repeated data staying in multiple rows here if you see if this row is x this will be repeated multiple time based on how many employee blanks to that specific department right this way this way means by splitting the uh, table row by means of primary and foreign key we avoid repeated data staying in multiple row now the repeated data is only department id in the employee table but if you want to bring the data together say for example employee id employee name and department name but here this table even though it has redundant data it contains the department name but when the data is split this department name is not available in this specific table what is available is only department id right this way we avoid repeated data staying in multiple row now the repeated data is only department id in the employee table so we may not get access to this uh, department name on this specific table but by means of join you can bring that data together by joining these two table rows so that's what we are going to see here table joins are useful to query related data from multiple table so the data is related here by means of the id so foreign key department id refers to primary key department id in the department table this way if i know the id i will go back and retrieve other information like a department name department head all those information if i travel here i can get department name and department head all those information in this sub series we will create some sample data in our sample cu tube database then we will learn about the table joints based on the need we will also use pubs database so to learn about join we will create some sample data in ce2 this is our own database 
and we can also use pubs database when uh, need arises all right that's all here in this video there is no demo in here thank you for watching bye